The question seems simple. Would an independent Scotland be a member of the European Union? But the answer has never been clear, and today came a warning. It's a new country, and so I believe it's going to be uh, extremely difficult, if not impossible, um, a new member state coming out of one of our countries, and getting the agreement of, of the other. But having said that, is now for uh, the of British course. people and uh, the Scottish people, of course, in their referendum to decide about their future. If Scotland has to apply to join the 27 country club, it would need the approval of all its members. And convincing Spain might be tricky. Catalan separatists are fighting for independence and Spain would be wary of setting a precedent which may make it easier for Catalonia to break away from Madrid. Opponents of Scottish independence say that's just one reason why negotiations wouldn't be easy. Even when you know, the European Union has been absolutely united in admitting new members, it takes an inordinately long time to agree everything. Here you would not have that. There would be, this is the first time a country would be breaking away from an existing member state, then applying to, to get back in again. But the Scottish government says an independent Scotland would not be a new state. And despite what Mr Barroso says, there would be no need to reapply to the EU. I think his remarks really don't represent the reality, given the fact that not a single member state of the European Union has in any way suggested that they would veto Scotland's membership of the European Union. There's no precedent to this process. No country has ever had to apply for membership of the EU after already having been part of the club. So if there's a yes vote, it will be followed by months of negotiations. The Yes campaign says voters who feel bullied by Westminster are being pushed their way. Scots, they say, don't like being told what they can or cannot do. The Better Together campaign says the last week has shown Alex Salmond is a man without a plan. It feels as if this referendum debate has stepped up a gear as both sides campaign for every vote. Laura Bicker, BBC News, Edinburgh.